Do Poison Ivy and Swamp Thing have the same powers? Or almost the same powers? Because at this point in DC Comics history, in time, it seems like they do. But I argue that Poison Ivy and Swamp Thing, they're DC's most famous plant-powered characters, and it does seem today like they basically can do most of the same things. People don't usually think of them this way, though, because for a long time, they weren't similar characters in power set at all. Um, they didn't become like avatars of the green or earth elementals until actually quite a ways after each person's for each character's first appearance. In the old days, in Poison Ivy's case, how for example, she was a lot less powerful than she's often portrayed in today's comics. In her old classic appearances, she just used sophisticated poisons to attack people and bend them to her will, like poison lipstick and I think she would write, she would just use poisons a lot of times on people. Um, and she was immune to poison herself. And even back in those days, she liked to use seduction as a part of her motif. You know, like with the lipstick and stuff, she liked to, you know, sex it up to, that was just a part of her thing. Um, over time, writers had her use more plant-based weapons and gadgets. Like she would have um, strangling vines that she could like, you know, like rip off her like outfit and like she threw it on ba around Batman's neck one time but it was like small plant-based you know things she wasn't controlling plants in an elaborate way not at first she would also have like darts that she would fire from like wrists on her hands well <laughs> she would have darts on her wrist that she would fire like this um later on though she would get more um bold in her experimentation with poisons and botany and she made um plant monsters that would attack Batman. As the decades went by, her powers increased, and today she's basically a plant elemental who can command plant life and vegetation in elaborate ways. And sometimes they make it so that she's part plant herself, or mostly plant and not even a human flesh and blood woman anymore, although that's not consistent throughout each appearance. In his part, for his part, Swamp Thing started out originally as a hulking giant plant beast, for the most part, with strength, super strength, and a high degree of durability. And he could regrow limbs, like if someone shot him or whatever, and it would penetrate or burst the skin or whatever, he could just grow it back. His strength and durability have increased over time, though. He's a lot stronger and more durable now than he was in his earlier appearances. And he acquired, you know, when Alan Moore decided to make, to, to associate Swamp Thing with, you know, the Parliament of Trees and make him an avatar of the green... That was around the time when they gave Swamp Thing, you know, like almost a godlike control over all vegetation. And he could actually, you know, commune with plants. Um, he could merge with them, um, travel through plants and dirt. He could, tra you know, go anywhere in the world, you know, traveling through dirt and plant life. And he could control, you know, plants and trees. Um, and so today... It seems like Poison Ivy and Swamp Thing have about the same powers, right? They can control plants and vegetation and elementals the same way like Storm over at Marvel can control the weather. and very They can control plants in very sophisticated, elaborate ways. Now, they don't have exactly the same powers. Like, Swamp Thing doesn't use, like, pheromones and, like, you know, seduction on people to get his way. But I'm thinking at this point he has the ability to, right? I mean, Swamp Thing has knowledge can create poisons and concoctions. So if he wanted to, he could put poison lipstick on <laughs> and start using it to control people, use plant-based pheromones to bend men or women to his will the same way Ivy does. He just chooses not to. Um, and as for Poison Ivy, she doesn't have super strength, at least not at any of the comics I've read, not at Swamp Thing's level of strength. But I don't know, is it too much of a stretch to believe that she couldn't devise a way to gain super strength like Swamp Thing has if she wanted to? Maybe. Um, so I'd say that both characters at this point almost have exactly the same powers, but not quite. But what do you think? If you're a DC Comics lover as I am, DC Comics and characters lover, do you agree? Do you think I, I'm on to something? Or do you think I'm way off base? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.